Greetings and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity, where we have just returned to Gilded Vale. And we're literally in front of those people, they didn't manage to notice us. But uh, what you did miss is just as I transitioned in, we travelled for about eight hours to get back here. Uh, we had Durant announce it's probably time that we get a camp going. So yeah, we probably will. Right, let's hand in this quest first and foremost. And then maybe we'll have some awesome Welcome. stuff going on in here. Ah, you're back. Anything I can help you with? Hand over the crate. I found your shipment you were waiting on. Uh, Tatu, uh, Tawatanu reaches out to take the crate, raising it effortlessly, effortlessly onto the counter. His face splits in a broad smile. Why? So you have. This is excellent news. We can finally get back to work and show you real black hammer quality. None of these flimsy little swords. Oh, I approve. Here, I'll give you a taste. He ducks behind the counter and raises with a heavy wooden shield in hand. Might not have had much in the way of materials to work with, but it's still black hammer craftsmanship. You go on and take that. And here, some coin for your troubles, too. His pleased expression dims. Did you find anyone with the wagon? Hmm. Bandits overtook the wagon. I doubt your people survived. Tautanu shakes his head, running a hand over his bald pate. I have no idea what that means. Poor fools. Always told them they ought to hire some guards instead of palming that extra coin. He sighs. I'll have to hire one. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have to hire on more hands. Don't suppose you want to settle in Gilded Vale? Try some delivery work. He smiles thinly. No, I think we're okay. You have my thanks for your assistance, friend. Give me some time to work with the forge, and you'll have your pick of the next run of weapons. Fantastic. But there we are, brought Tautanu his missing shipment. He was pleased to have it, though he regretted the loss of his workers. He has promised to give me access to better goods now that he has the resources to make them. Uh, well on that done. note, let's have a look. Oh, it's good to see a friendly face. I hope the Vale is doing kindly by you. We've made good use of those supplies. My God, you're fast workers. Some of my best work. You ever want to see our special stock? You just say the word. I'd like to see your wares, please. Of course. I'm sure you'll find something to your liking. You got, they've got quite a few. Ooh. Many, many fine things. Wow, everything is now fine. That's actually pretty awesome. So many. Shield down there. Some more rings. Cape. Cape of withdrawal, I think that was. Armor wise, let's have a quick look. Actually, I think we've looked through everything. So there's nothing really that new here. I mean, a couple of fine things here and there, but uh, not particularly anything worth my time, I must say. But still, uh, you know, it's not too terribly bad. Let's get rid of all of these. We just flat out don't need them. And we don't want most of these. Keep those. We don't need four hoods. We're going to keep the Ram Home Helm, though. I'm not getting rid of that. You're mad. All right, there we go. We'll just make a little bit of cash. All right, thank yes. you very much for your help. I think it is probably time for us to quickly go and rest at the inn before heading on to Kainua. That is our next destination. Hopefully, I'm going to be afforded the ability to quick travel to it. Since I've already explored the lands between. It may need that I have travelled there at least once to be able to, you know, journey to the destination. But we'll see. It may just need that I have at How least seen the destination once. Uh, I'd like a room, please. Certainly, you're always welcome. Yeah, let's go for this one again. I quite like extra perception and mechanics. Ah, uh, sound of crackling fire. Good times. Good times indeed. Larder door. Oh yeah, you did actually give me something, didn't you? Larder door. Large shield. Ooh, okay. Let's have a look at this and compare. So, 16 deflection, minus 8 accuracy, grants a bash, plus 4 shield deflection. The shields appear to have once, quite literally, comprised the front of a larder. It still has the pole ring and metal crossbands reinforcing its surface, giving it considerable heft when swung at an opponent. Despite its humble origins, the nicks and gouges on the shield's surface suggest it has seen more than a few battles in its time and proved a sturdy defence. 
Though it leaves the harrowing prospect that there may be la a larder somewhere lying undefended. What? Terrible! No, I refuse to even imagine that. Clearly they have a new larder door there. Very sure, you can you can have that. <laughs> That's what you are actually <laughs> literally getting <laughs> a larder door. Well played, Ida. Well played. Okay. Now then, I am incredibly eager to go to Kai... Uh, Kairnua. Oh, Kaidnua, sorry. Kair is a Welsh word, means field. But, uh, let's head down here. Can I can I not travel there? Ah, oh, Scallywaggery. I have to have been there at least once then, I guess. Fair enough. Well, since we've uh, cleared out this whole area, assuming nothing respawns, we should just be able to walk straight through it. Let's keep on our way. There we go. Oh, look at our dog chasing after us. Glorious to see it frolicking like that. There we are. We should see the way out just about there. Okay, Kaid Nua, here we come. 18 hours? Ye gods, they're going to be knackered by the time they get there. They're going to need to sleep again. Ah, my goodness. Okay, the old watcher. Let's have a quick look at this then. The spirit of Kai, uh, Kaldara de... Baranzi, one of Lord Riedrich's unfortunate victims, has directed me towards Kaidnua, where I will find a man named Mirwald. Kaldara has informed me that I have become something known as a Watcher, and that this Mirwald is a Watcher as well. Perhaps he can tell me more about what's happening to me. Kaidnua is impressive in size, but little else. The keep is in complete disrepair, but if old Mirwald is still Lord of this place, then I am likely to find him within. Very well. Once again, we will be moving in stealth almost everywhere. Oh, hello. Hello there, Kana. Hey, you've got a friendly face. Just off the side of the path into Kaid Nua stands an imposing figure, a tall, thick-set Aumawa. Clad in worn armour and peering up at the outer walls of the keep, in his hand is a small piece of charcoal, and it works feverishly at taking notes upon a small scrap of paper. More than once he has to reach up to prevent his colourful cap from falling off his head as he gazes upwards. What are you doing over there? That mouldy brickwork must be fascinating. No, I'm not going to call him mouldy. The man looks over to you, blinking in surprise. His face splits into a wide and very toothy grin, and he waves the parchment in greeting. Killing time, if I'm honest. I've already walked the perimeter twice. There are names scratched upon some of the bricks just here. Workers and masons, I expect. Carving a little immortality for themselves. He looks up at the wall again, expression found. It's a fine keep, Kaidnua. Two centuries to its name, and abandoned for nearly as long. But the truly interesting part is in there. Okay. And I haven't had much luck in reaching the keep itself. I hoped to find the master of this place, a man by the name of Meerwald. Yes. But it seems that he either holds his privacy most dear, or else has been devoured by his house guests. What? They must be ravenous. I came here looking for me world myself. Oh, truly. Then perhaps we can help one another. The grounds are infested with all manner of beasts. I've never seen the like. I didn't want to risk it alone. But you seem capable. Oh, Together, another sure companion? Fantastic! And then we can both ask our questions of Meerwald. Okay, I accept they this. seek a great treasure, you see. Not gold or silver. But the Tanvi Oratoa. You might call it the Book of Virtues. That sounds it's like a, a treasure indeed, yes. Tie, but we possess only a fragment of it. A year I've journeyed in search of the rest. And I uncovered evidence that leads me to believe the original lies just there, beneath the keep. Ah, this is wonderful. Why would this uh, Tanvi Oratoa be here in Deerwood? I need to take up old relics. You're on your own. I can't have it just now. No, let's go meet Meowald then. Excellent. Lead on, my friend, and I will be at your heels. Ah, wait. Speaking of that, I ought to warn you first. Wondrous teeth, I nearly forgot. I have, at times, been followed. It began oh dear. Mad -ear, and in Examital, they attacked outright. I believe they do not wish for me to find what I am looking for. 
Then you, friend, are in need of protection, and I will guard you. Well, as long as guarding you generally involves going in the direction I was going anyway. I say believe, but I have been told as much by one of my would-be assassins. <laughs> I pay them little mind. Humorless swords and long robes. But it's why I bought the sword, you see. And it's only fair that you should know. Oh, well, that's very nice of you to let me know. What are a few assassins between friends? <laughs> I'm glad you're not discouraged. Come then. Who knows what we will find inside? Indeed! Treasures await. Ah, this is fantastic. I've got a new companion. He's, the, he's a funny sort. I, I like him. Right, let's have a quick look at you. Now, there has been a patch recently that means that uh, the advice that I was given to get as many companions as I could, as fast as I could, before I level up too much, because their level will kind of match mine, and thus they will have picked skills and stuff like that. I can now, I believe, change their skills. Oh, you're a... Oh, you're a chanter. On your word. Ooh, that's interesting. But, I believe there is a way for me to character... No, that is where I was already at. Personal. Hmm. There's apparently a way that I can change the character's skill set. But oh well. He has field triage as well. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, let's edit your chance. You've got... At the sight of their comrades, uh, comrades, their hearts grew bold. Emboldens allies in the air of effect. Giving bonuses to fortitude and will. And Bless was Wengrid, quickest of his tribe. That'll be the... I think we chant that one first mm -hmm. double check yes so that and dump so yes on the fifth chant it'll be blast was wangrid quickest of his tribe again so if we have every other one for this oh, chanter no. then we will be keeping that going quite well lo their endless host the harbingers of doom Generates a field of terror, frightening enemies in the area of effect. Yeah, sure, we'll grab that one. Um, no, actually, we don't need that. That That's completely surplus to demand. Oh, I like that. We'll go with that, I think. Let's make sure that's uh, gone in. Yes, it has. Fantastic. Right, what are your known... Modal combat only. March of the coma. You've got... And hell hereaf crashed upon the shield. Reduced damage reduction of enemies in the area of effect. You can summon skeletons. And you can use the thunder road like waves on black seas. Ah, uh, this should be an interesting setup. What kind of equipment have you got? You've got an arquebus. Arquebus. Damage reduction. 28 to 42 PS. Extremely slow to load. But six damage reduction bypass. Wow, okay. That's actually fantastic. Match lock, firearms of high power and fair accuracy. Okay, well, uh, we'll get you some better equipment. I've probably got some on me, actually. First and foremost, let's get you a nice cape. Deflection plus five. Get you a nice hat hood for that cape. Ah, uh, no, I'm going to leave you with your hat. Looks like that's actually quite good anyway. It's plus one intellect. Um, I'm not going to give you a fine brass plate. What have you got currently? Heavy armor. Recovery speed. 50. 45. Um, that would actually be better than the, the brigadine that you've got. Since he's got re ba faster recovery speed. And it's fine. Though so that one's... No, that, we're going to go with this one for you. There you go. And that sword. Fine S-Stock. Okay, you can keep that. Right, yo. I think that's uh, all we needed to give. I don't think we've got anything else we want to hand over. Nope. Okay, we've got a new party member. This is fantastic news. I'm here. 
Oh, oh, actually, one more thing I want Following to check. What kind of skills have we got? Might 16, Constitution 12, Dex 9, Perception 14, Intelligence 18. That's actually really, really good. Stealth 2, Lord 9. Well played, well played indeed. Okay, Ancient Memory, Field Triage. Arm to the Teeth. Self plus one weapon set. March of the Kamoa at the side of their comrade. Their hearts grew bold. Okay. But you have an extra weapon yes. set, do you? That's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Let me uh, give you another weapon then. Just in case there should come a time that you need this. Let's give you that. So we've got a huge two-hander or a regular sword and shield. Okay. Right, we need to put you into our new formation. I want these guys quite far at the back. And you two there. Alright then. Yes. Fantastic Let's time ahead. Before we uh, go and explore that though, let's explore this way. Let's explore around the place we're going into first. There we are. Anything back here? So far, no. Oh, here we are. What can we explore here? One shattered cask still smells faintly of ale, long spilled into the dirt. Anything else? No. Okay. Well, that was fairly easy. Let's get down here. Ah, oh, it's cool to have a such a large group. Still got room for one more person, though. I'll see what I can find. Can we go down there? No, we cannot. Very well. Let's go inside. Old and dry, with okay. cobwebs in every crack. It reminds me of Woodica. Ah, well played. I was wondering if that was going to be Wodisia, but no, Woodica. I approve. I really do. All right, what are we going to find around here? Nothing much. Ooh, shadow. Honestly, I very much doubt that shadow is going to be able to do really anything against me. Let's get you forward, though. Oh, scallywag that you are. Let's get in there and actually take him out if we can. Uh, let's drop this on you guys. And I'll try to take him out as quickly as we can. Durant's killed the shadow, well played. Start going for the phantom next. There we go. Oh, really? You scoundrel! Stop attacking! Aloth! Aloth, drop that spell right at your feet, please. There we go! My goodness, that was just annoying. I didn't want that to happen. Those shadows are scallywags, they really are. What's this? Uh. Well, Wisp, we don't really want to play with that. All right, then, if you really, 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 really must go that way, nice and quiet. then first we'll explore over here. Aha! The strap door has been barred by the elements. Tugging on the rusted handle only produces heavy... something or other. Rattling. Ooh, a small flame blight. Get into position here. Two of them. Mm. Hey. Let's get out there if we can. And engage them. There we go. Right, okay. They are engaged. Get up there, Glindur. You engage as well. Uh, just attack them from afar for now. And you can use your fur encounter spell. There we are. One is dead. Knock this one down if you can. 
There we are. Fantastic work. That was actually really good. Hmm? Though I got set on fire, I don't know why I didn't think that that was going to happen, but oh well. The better part of valor. Right, what else have we got? We've got a Will of the Wisp over there. So many uh, elemental kind of enemies here. Right, Eater, I want you up there as fast as you can. And you know what? I would kind of like you to switch to your pistol for now. Also, let's drop that on him. Oh, no, 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 because you'll hit either. Yes. There we go. That will help. Oh, dear. Leave our village. We've done nothing to you. What do you mean? I'm here. I have no idea what you're talking about. has a calm sea, which is not very. No. No, it's not. I approve of the fact that you realize this. Hello? You can't do this! Okay. Spectral smoke churns all around you at first. You can see nothing except the haze, but gradually you make out the wizened, hunched shape of an old elven man. His face and bone-thin arms are smeared with paint. You can't do this, he shakes his head, spitting the words at you. Listen. The claws have lived here almost 50. Generations. Okay. We were here long before your kind brought war to our lands. You can't just burn it all. Uh, I agree. Mercy, soldier. Our warriors have all gone. <coughs> you can't burn us all because of them. Uh, all right. After a pause, he draws back and gapes at you in horror, seemingly in response to something you didn't actually say. But illusionary tongues of flame flicker at the corners of your vision. He reaches out to you and opens his mouth to say something, but all that emerges is a series of violent coughs. He falls to his knees, choking on the thickened smoke. Flames overtake the vision as you back away. Okay. That is a door somewhere. Uh... I shall be discreet. Okay, so something terrible happened here, I suppose? Not that I should be surprised at all. Something terrible has happened sure. almost everywhere in this game. There we go. Right. Everyone get involved with this fight, please. There we go. Let's drop this down there. Just out of range of hitting either, though. Oh, you scallywag. Should have seen that coming. Knock him down. What do you get? Not sure what happened there. Right, let's stealth up. I shall be discreet. Some more elemental stuff? I shall. What have we got over here then? Ooh. Another area. Let's not go there just yet. Let's investigate. Got another Will of the Wisp here I know of. Right, either get in there and attack mm -hmm. him, please. Straight up. Whoa. That's right. <laughs> Everyone now to attack. There we go. That did not take much when you've got this many people all equipped with powerful ranged weapons. Lizard skins, knuckle bones, and teeth of various sizes lie amongst the weeds. One side of this pillar is graven with hundreds of whorls and ridges, even under a layer of grime and moss, the Ardra gleams. Okay. Another Will of the Wisp over there, and a shadow. Right. Hey. Eater, get down there. Oh, that was more than I really wanted. Yeah. Everyone else back, please. Let Eater deal with this. Eater is a professional. The rest of you attack the hey. shadow. The rest of you attack that shadow then. Oh, okay. Never mind. Swap you to your stiletto and then get in there, please. You fall back. There we are. Let's have you. Well, you can continue attacking. Oh, okay. Never mind. Just everyone charge in there if you want. Not like I had any tactics or anything. 
You know, special things I wanted you to do. Just go ahead, judge him. It's 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 absolutely fine. I'll still win. I'm awesome. And again, please. There we go. Another one down, I take it. Well then, Kana. Everyone to attack this one of us. There we are. Fantastic work, everyone. Though we are hemorrhaging health. I shall. Needlessly, Head which is the problem. The Tangled wires and broken gears. Look at these wooden boxes. There's a lot of broken stuff around here. Frayed lengths of rope and a few flint chips are scattered across this workbench. Where's the next shadow? Oh, a little field. Only weeds grow in this dusty patch. Oh, that's not so good. Unless you're trying to feed rabbits. In which case, uh, probably not too bad. Well, it depends on the weeds. Actually, it depends on the weeds quite a lot. There's quite a lot of weeds that will kill a rabbit. The hedges grow in shaggy heaps. Shot through with weeds and tall grasses. Can we get through them? Possibly not. Okay. Eater, oh. get down there. Engage! Oh. Yeah, that's not good. Everyone kill this shadow. Okay, guys, that is really not good. Drop everything you can on this location, please. Go for that phantom, too. Eater, knock the will-o'-the-wisp down, if you would be so kind. Drop this there. Phantom is pretty low on health. The shadow is not very long. For this world, but you have got are taking huge amounts of damage. Let's have you send a powerful heal his way. Where are you going? What are you doing? I have what? I what? I have no idea what just happened. Yes. Kind of funny though. Right, well done on killing the Will of the Wisp. Now get in there and knock this phantom over. There we go. Right, all of you guys. Attack the phantom. There we go. Haha, Glindor is taking revenge against you. Ye gads. Keeping an eye out. That was far more dangerous than it needed to be. Oh, this one actually goes in somewhere. Okay. That's a first so far. Alright, well, there are two places that I can go so far. One looks to be into the keep proper. And the other, into this... Uh, I'm not even sure what it is. Almost looks like an inn. Or, or a house of some sort. But we are going to find out what's inside... In the next episode, and probably after a camp, first and foremost as well, because Glindor's health is pretty low, and it, it's silly that I've let it get this low. But uh, I do hope you've liked this episode, and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.